Last week, I drank the Kool-Aid. I should say chugged the Kool-Aid. Here we are. Today's the day. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stoked on Spokes. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about tubeless tire setup. Is it easy? Is it hard? Is it for you? Let's dive in. So last year when I was releasing the bikepacking video series, I said this. I do currently run tubes on all my bikes and will most likely be transitioning to tubeless for next spring, although I'm still on the fence about it. Now it wasn't the first part about converting to tubeless that people had a problem with. It was that last part. Although I'm still on the fence about it. I don't know why I was skeptical. I think it was the whole, you know, back and forth of can I do it? Should I do it? What are the benefits? What are the downsides that I had trouble with? A lot of people were messaging me through the comments, not just on that video where I said it, but on other videos that I mentioned having tubes to do it, to do the tubeless setup, super easy, and I listened. I not only set up tubeless on the Kona Rove, but on my Karate Monkey and on Jordan's new Karate Monkey. That's right, we got her a Karate Monkey too. So we have three tubeless bike tire setups here, and I did it with no previous experience. Now I'm making this video not to convince you to run tubeless, but if you're in that questioning New York. state of mind, which I was in, to tell you that it's totally doable if you want to do it. I am not on Team Tubeless or Team Tubes as I see both of them to have their own benefits in many ways. With tubes, you don't need to worry about sealant. You can switch tires easily and many more benefits. With Tubeless, you can run lower pressures, and not experience pinch flats. You also lose some weight to the bike, which as I've stated on this channel before, I could care less about what something weighs. I care about the comfort of that thing that I'm adding to my bike. So last week I received this Stands No Tubes sealant and decided to film the process, share with you guys to see if it really is hard or easy. I've heard so many things on the internet stating that it can be hard or it can be easy. So which one is it? I took the Kona Rove over to maintenance where we have an air compressor. Yeah, I said air compressor. I saw a lot of things that you can do this with the pump on the internet, but I honestly didn't even try it. If you have an air compressor, use that. If you don't, get a little Presta to Schrader adapter and do this at a gas station, I would recommend it, or at a friend's house that has an air compressor. I will get back to that point in a sec. So while I was at maintenance, I deflated my old tubes, took off the tire, took off the tubes, cleaned the rim with alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and was ready to set up the tubeless setup. The thing I did not do the first time that I should have is kept the tube in while I inflated the new ventures. So with a new tire, I had a bit of a problem trying to get the bead to sit because they were folded up in packaging to be shipped beforehand. So they didn't have that natural wheel circular shape. They had a, you know how tires come, like just folded and they look like a square when you un fold them. I don't know. They had that shape. So I fixed that by adding a tube, inflating it, giving it the shape, then taking the tube off, adding the tubeless valve and going from there. So there's many ways to set up tubeless. The one I chose was a basic soapy water and dry fit. So you get everything ready. You put some soapy water around the tire where it's going to sit and you dry fit it without tubeless sealant. There we go. Then you deflate, you pop the bead off and add some sealant by the valve. You flip it over and then you reattach the tire, inflate it, the bead clicks 
and you're good to go. You can do an easier setup and I think this would be easier. I have not done it, but I do have a tubeless syringe on the way for refills. So you could do this, you could dry fit it and then just take the valve core out, use a syringe and insert the sealant that way. That is how I plan on adding more sealant to any of the bikes that we have set up tubeless now. So should be pretty easy. Now back to that point, if you do not have a air compressor, you don't have to stray away from tubeless because you've heard it's really hard to do with a foot pump. I have a foot pump, did not even try it because I have heard it's really hard to do with a foot pump. This is what you should do. At home, at the comfort of your own home, do everything that I did in maintenance with the Kona Rove before using the air compressor. So I did this with the Karate Monkey. The next few days I converted mine and Jordan's Karate Monkey to a tubeless setup. I deflated the tires, cleaned the rims, taped the rims, added the valves, and then was ready to go over to the air compressor. So if you don't have an air compressor, do everything I just listed, then go over to the gas station, wherever your nearest air compressor is and use it. So final thoughts, is tubeless setup hard or is it easy? I would say it's easy if you do your research beforehand. There's many ways to do this and some people on the internet claim that this is the right way, this is the wrong way. I would say pick what way works best for you and go with that. There's many ways to do it. There's many ways to ride a bike, but we all ride in different ways. Pick what works for you, do it that way. Do your research beforehand so that you avoid common mistakes and you avoid you know, overspending on sealant or tape for that matter. So do your research when it comes to those things and then just go for it. Again, I'm not team tubeless or team tubes. I've ran both and I see the benefits of both. I just wanted to make this video to inspire those that maybe would be considering a tubeless setup but are kind of holding back because they're not comfortable with setting their own tubeless setup up. That was a lot of ups. Anyway, I hope this helped you. If it did, please remember to hit that like button. If it didn't, then hit the dislike button. I thought it was pretty easy. I did my research didn't waste anything, didn't waste sealant besides a couple drops on the first try on the Kona Rove, and didn't waste any tape. The tape I ordered was exactly the tape I used, and that's a good thing. I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, remember to stay stoked on spokes.